I will avenge my brothers who fell at Xiangyang. And should I fail? Should you fail? Yeah! I will leave you as carrying on the battlefield. Well, Marco Polo is such a huge production, a lot of actors, a lot of locations. How much time does it take to complete one season? Uh, uh, six months and then we have to shoot it to shoot, shoot it. it and then Just we shooting. had a month and a half two months of preparation uh, preparation for actors like the training that we had the physical training martial arts choreography horse riding archery so uh yeah we did a lot but but apart from the actors more than one year if you have to build the sets yes. and uh, then organize the travelings and everything it takes uh, one year so even for you actors it's a huge commitment yeah yes. uh, and does it leave you time to do other projects i mean some some actors they come in doing other projects already so so they they sort of uh, you know they work out a system where they can go in out but uh if uh, other than that you well know, no we just have to be focused on on the show mainly yes depends on you know how much present you are there but since it's a show like that, even if you're not there I mean, for, as much, you, you have to be there, even if yeah. you don't work every day. And if you're not working, you're training. Yeah. Yes. All of us. So not just us, too. Yes, there's no you rest. Know. You're leaving Marco Polo all, all, all the day. All, yeah, <laughs> all the way through. How can the Khan of Mongolia oversee the affairs of his motherland when he now must govern all of China? It is a doomed prospect for him. Well, I really love the 100 Eyes special. Oh, really love thank it. You. Uh, it took me by surprise. I didn't know it was going to be so action packed. Yeah. Uh, was it as fun to shoot it as to watch it? It was fantastic fun. And it was a privilege to, to have a, a, a two, uh, special episode on Under Eyes. So, uh, yeah, it was great. Uh, why did you guys think it was a good idea? I love the. to think, to tell the background of Under Eyes. Uh, well, it was a good idea because uh, the. The fans were so enthusiastic, and they were they were wanting to know what what the backstory of Hundred Eyes. So you know, on Netflix, as they are, they they want to please the fans. So, <laughs> so I, I I would say that the great thing about Hundred Eyes is that we is like an old character from the eighties, and and now everybody's like cynical, complicated, precise. No, we need we want back those characters. <laughs> like him the master yeah <laughs> yeah this is a show so why not and and the audience got that yes i think yes i think they did what can you tell us about the second season it's a natural evolution of season one with everything that brings this which means that you know season one we were uh not really we didn't know exactly what we were doing we had to create from nothing this world now we've done that we have put a lot of seeds in it, and in season two, you will see the seeds growing up. So, I would say if you like season one, you would love season yeah. two. I can script you into the Order of the Mongol Knights. You honored me. Great Khan. Well, even though Marco Polo was a real historical character, the series is mostly fiction. Mm -hmm. uh, how do you prepare your character for that? Uh, well, regarding me, um, of course I read the books, but from the books you don't see what was his personality, who was his character. But you have this guy, 17 years old guy, that in the 10th century traveling thousands of miles with his father by foot, or riding horses or beasts, and getting along with the most powerful man on earth. So for me, well, first of all I'm Italian, second is principal characteristic was his curiosity allow, and um, that allows him to be open-minded and eventually become the first modern man able to create a bridge between East and West. That was... I know in the second season uh, it will feature Michel Yeo, mm -hmm. which is a legend. In yeah, legend. <laughs> so how was it like working with her? <laughs> She's great. It, it was like... Uh, when I was working with her, um, it was like uh, I was like watching a film, because you see her so much on the big screen, on the small screen. That one of those moments, they go, "Oh, actually, I'm not, I'm not watching a film <laughs> of her. Is I'm actually, you know, in front of her." <laughs> so I know it's, it's a privilege. She's wonderful. She's such an amazing. Actress. Working with a professionalist like like her is like you're on a tandem, and one is taking all the effort, so it's just easier. You follow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah.
One dies. Yeah.